hello guys and welcome to my channel my name is elizabeth and today i just did a quick easy uh, makeup tutorial this is kind of like every day every day as in like social drinking when you don't want to do a full beat when you don't want to wear eyelashes you know you just hit them with a <laughs> uh, most of the products i'm using are drugstore so they're affordable um, a couple of high-end but predominantly drugstore because I'm trying to be affordable and trying to reach um, young uni students who want to look cute but don't always have the finance to do so. So this is just a simple orange blushed up look. I love a lot of blush. That's one thing you find out about me during this channel is I'm the blush queen. You can never have too much blush yeah anyway thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial bye so guys i'm just gonna start off with brushing my eyebrows yes i'm using a toothbrush yes it's a brand new toothbrush i prefer it over a spoolie each to their own then i'm gonna go in with my photo finish smashbox primer my favorite primer ever um, I prefer primer over just like moisturising and then putting on my foundation. I feel like it just helps the foundation come on smoothly. And yeah, so definitely do that. And then we're just going to moisturise and blend. After, I'm just going to take my lip balm, which is my pore pore lip balm, predominantly honey and papaya. And moisturise them lips, people. Keep the lips moisturised. So I'm just going to go back in and rebrush my eyebrows. I'd like to brush them frequently just to keep them brushed and blended. Um, once I do that, I'm going to take my NYX uh, pencil and I'm just going to fill in my brows. I don't do much when it comes to shaping them because I get them threaded every two weeks. And I have quite thick eyebrows naturally, so I just go through, fill in the blanks. And I blend again with my toothbrush, as you're going to see. But yeah, I keep my eyebrows very simple. I like them quite natural looking. I don't like to do too much, you know what I mean? Like, it's not every day do the most. It's some days keep it nice and simple. Then I'm going to go in with my Pro Girl Concealer, uh, Colour Fawn, and I'm just going to clean up these eyebrows. Going to make them look sharp, have them looking fleeky, <laughs> and you already know what it is, guys. Once I get the shape, I just go in with a beauty blender and just blend it out. Just blend it out. I do that for both eyebrows. I just shape it and blend it out. So, yeah. So I'm just going to go in with this W7 loose powder and powder and set my eyebrows um, just so that they're set for when I do start doing my eyeshadow. Uh, once I've done that, I'm just going to, oh yeah, there's something in my eye. It happens guys. It, it actually happens frequently. Anyway, once I'm done, I'm going to go in with my foundation, which is the W7 and the Bobbi Brown foundation. They're not my favourite foundations, but they're affordable and they're the closest uh, match I found to my skin tone recently. Um, I really do like the coverage of the W7, but the colour of the Bobbi Brown is like my favourite. So I just go in, put swatches and dots all over my face, and I blend with my um, brush first before going in with my beauty blender. I just feel like this just gives it more of an even blended look. So I do use both brush and beauty blender. So I just go in and I blend, 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 blend. Guys, bear with me. This is my first voiceover. I'm learning. 
anyway once I've blended my foundation I go in with my concealer um, same shade concealer I go in to just hide the blemishes I feel like the foundation didn't quite catch and I just blend blend again and make sure everything is nice and smooth and even and have it like a nice finish anyway don't forget to blend it out over I again I use a brush and don't forget your neck guys I've done it quite often where I've forgotten my neck and my face looks two shades lighter than my neck and yeah so I'm just going to use the same concealer I use for my eyebrows as a base for my eyelids before applying any eyeshadow and I'm going to blend that out with my beauty blender and um, we're going to blend 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 again um on both eyes i tend to do both of my eyes together i don't finish one before doing the other um so then after that i'm gonna go in with a dark shade from my revolution london palette and i'm just gonna blend as a base um above the eyelid towards the brow bone and i'm just gonna blend that out it's like a smoked brown color um i really tend to use a lot of browns um even when i'm doing a cut crease i just like brown honestly i don't like to do things too outrageous especially on a foreign everyday makeup tutorial we don't need too many colors guys let's keep it simple and let's you know get this show on the road so i'm just gonna go back in with a pale blush orange color in my brow bone I do this to kind of remove any harshness of the brown and to just create more definition on my eyes. Once I've done that, I'm going to create another base with the same concealer I used. Um, I just do this because um, I feel like when I apply a lighter colour, it just holds the pigment more. No, I don't actually buy um, eye, eye bases. My concealer can do the exact same thing. And I just don't see why I should spend more money when I have something in my makeup collection that can do the same thing. We're here, we're looking cute on a budget, guys. Anyway, once I've done that, I'm going to go in with my NYX blush. It's one of my favourite blushes. It's very pigmented and I always use it as an eyeshadow base. Um, I just love it. As you can see, guys, it's this coral orange colour. Um, very, very beautiful. And I just go in and I just attack my eyes with that, guys. Um, not using much technique but boom both eyes are done I tend to do my eyes together as you can see and I just go forth and I blend I blend all the way out just to make sure I've achieved the color I want then I'm going to go back in with the LA Girl concealer and guys we are going to highlight under them eyes get these eye bags away and you know like brighten up the eyes really draw attention my eyes are my favorite feature so I do believe I should draw as much attention as possible and try to get rid of these big old eye bags, guys. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, once I'm done with that, you can see I use my beauty blender a lot and I go forth and do the second eye. The same technique um, and I just blend it out. I just blend it out, guys, until I get a finished, um, smooth, even look. As you can see, I blend it out to my forehead and my chin just because I feel like these are the areas that need to be highlighted. Once I'm done, I take the same loose powder and I bake with a brush and I just go forth underneath my eyes to make sure it's set. It doesn't crease. And yeah, guys, I put a lot because I just feel like I need it. Um, I get quite oily and I just want to make sure everything is set for the day. If I'm running around in this 35 degrees heat that's in London, I need to feel like my face is still intact. Then I go forth and I just blend it out. Um, I don't fully blend it out because I'm going to um, keep blending once I've added my contour. So I just blend and blend and blend. Uh, once I'm done blending, I take my sleek powder and I also take my cream sleek palette. Um, and I start to contour. I'm just going to go into my nose and contour and the side of my cheeks and then I'm going to end up taking a small brush and blending it out on both my nose and um, the side of my cheeks. I tend to measure from my ear, the top of my ear down to my face and I'm going to take a smaller brush to really get in and get that nose snatched, y'all. <laughs> yeah um, and I'm just gonna keep blending that out for a while make sure 
I've really snatched my face. I do love a contour. I do love to look snatched. I'm going to go straight back in with the same loose powder. And I'm just going to highlight underneath the cheekbones to make sure that that contour is snatched. Um, I'm going to go back in with a brighter brown. And I'm going to recontour the same cheekbones. And make sure your girl, again, is looking snatched. At <laughs> facial expressions, guys. Once we're done, I'm just going to blend everything out, uh, blend and blend. I'm going to switch brushes and add my face powder and start blending again just to make sure I'm just, you know, blended. I don't want to be looking like three different tones on the street. Um, and yes, I do like intense under eyes. I do like looking like I'm awake, but I'm going to go in now and we're going to line these eyes. Um, I don't do much with my eyeliner I keep it quite simple I do bring it quite out um I do have quite small almond eyes and I do want to highlight that so I do um quite a wide wided fan out wing and we're gonna do that yeah I I, I concentrate a lot while <laughs> doing this anyway boom both eyes are done we ain't playing no games. We ain't playing no games. We're going back in with the guys. same blushed NYX. Anyway. My favourite part gonna... of makeup is blush. I over blush, guys. I know you don't need to tell me in the comments. Um, I just feel like I need to look like an anime character. And uh, it started off in my cosplay makeup tutorials. And now it's just in my everyday makeup. Guys, I'm here for this though. I'm here for blushing. As long as it's all blended out, which you're going to see, I'm going to blend everything i'm gonna blend my forehead i know i can see the forehead isn't fully blended guys i'm gonna blend that out guys i forgot to actually video my highlight so you just see me highlight in the inner corners of my eyes this look isn't supposed to be bad be going to the club it's just chilling with friends having some drinks i'm gonna highlight the top of my lip i'm gonna highlight the bridge of my nose um, and i'm just gonna blend it out with my hands it's fun, it's chilled, it's cute, it's not too much, it's not too little. It's like, ooh, okay, okay. Anyway, I'm going to go in and I'm going to use my Revolution London Finishing Spray. We're going to spritz our face. Yes, we're going to do that. Boom. Yeah, I'm taking off my bonnet, guys. <sighs> Don't watch the hair. Going to get my hair did soon. This pandemic had me messed up but yeah we're doing the lips guys we got the nyx we've got the nyx pencil we've got the body shop cream and we've got the estate order lip gloss so i'm just gonna start with my nyx pencil the same pencil i actually use for my eyebrows i'm gonna overline my lips i'm a big fan of overlining lips i know i have four big lips already but overlining didn't do nobody no wrong. So we're going to line these lips. Um, we're going to create more definition. Then we're going to go in with the Estee Lauder uh, pinkish reddish gloss. And we're going to gloss these lips up. Um, I just like to use it underneath because clear gloss sometimes can be a bit sticky. I find the Estee Lauder gloss is really, really nice. Um, not really sticky. And yeah. Once I've done my Estee Lauder gloss, I'm going to go in with my NYX lip cream. It's my favourite lip cream. Um, I'll leave the shade in the description bar below, but I'm just going to go create more definition. Once I'm done, I'm going to use my Body Shop lip cream in the centre. It's a lighter shade. It creates more definition into the lips. I'm going to get these lips looking juicy. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, guys, like the look is almost done i'm just gonna go back in with some eyeliner and i'm gonna put some beauty spots everywhere and that's pretty much the finished look hey guys oh my god i think i'm cute no guys but i actually think i'm so cute i don't know who i am hey yeah this is a cute look i can i can rock this quite often Yes, guys, so this look is finished. Um, I didn't really do an outro. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like and share.